Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another custom Transformers video. This time we're taking a look at a Transformers Prime Air Acnid. And yes, she has all kinds of spider legs. So this is a custom spider mode that I put together uh, thanks to Caked Up 83 who had sent me uh, a picture online of a, a version of this figure and I thought it was a good idea. And I, I figured I'd go ahead and do it. So I was uh, looking for an extra set of rotors uh, for the figure. And thank you to Greg, who is one of the moderators uh, for Cybertron Cafe. If you have not been there on Facebook, definitely check them out. It's a great place uh, to pick up extra figures, parts, uh, sell figs, trade, all kinds of good stuff. Great, great uh, group. Definitely love it. So thanks, Greg, for... Uh, uh, sending me the extra set of rotors. I got the rotors for $7 shipped, uh, which is really nice. And uh, basically, it gives her her eight legs and gives her the ultimate spider mode. So taking a look, what you want to do, you want to take your little stinger pieces and attach them to her elbows. And then you can put the uh, rotors into the stingers. And it gives her the eight legs. So we've got the three purple legs on this side, three purple legs on this side, and then we have the two uh, spider legs down below, which are hanging up. As you can tell, she is completely standing on the purple legs, which is really, really nice. Very cool stuff. And it kind of gives her the traditional mode that we see in Transformers Prime, where she's walking around in her spider bot mode. Uh, which is very, very cool. I really do dig this. I think this looks really nice. It's very cool. Um, and as you can see, her feet totally do not drag at all. Uh, very cool stuff. If uh, you've got an arachnid figure, uh, this is definitely the way to go with it. So look for an extra set of rotors. I know Big Bad Toy Store has the figure on sale right now for about $12. Uh, so if you get one, I'd go ahead and pick up two. Or, if you can find an extra set of rotors for the one that you have, go ahead and customize her like this. It's definitely very, very cool. I really do like it. I like how the stingers kind of add a little something to her. Um, very cool stuff. And as, like I said, she just kind of hangs in the air, which is really nice. Uh, you can kind of mo uh, modify and play with these a little bit. You can also set up, if you notice, there's the uh, little punch piece there where you can put the rotors forward um, and that will make the legs kind of push forward and you can get a little different variance on how you want the spider mode to actually look. Uh, after playing with it, this is really kind of my personal favorite. I think this looks the best. But all in all, definitely cool. Um, it's worth the extra set of rotors to get for the figure. I'm going to put her in this mode on the shelf for sure. Uh, just definitely looks cool. Gotta love a good spider bot. Very cool stuff. So thanks to CakeUp83 for uh, giving me the idea. And thank you Greg from Cybertron Cafe uh, for giving me the extra set of rotors. Definitely cool. Definitely fun. And as always, look for more videos in the future. Alright, so before we actually leave, I just want to show a couple of variances uh, to setting her up. Here is uh, Air Acnid with her stingers facing forward, if you kind of like that look. Um, gives the spider legs a little different look. Now, the one thing, uh, her back legs do kind of sit down to kind of help support this mode. Uh, this is not a bad mode. I do like it. Um, I think I prefer the first mode a little bit better, but definitely cool. I do like in this mode, you can really see the detail on the stingers, uh, which is very cool, and the spider legs, uh, a lot of them coming forward. Uh, so that is definitely a very cool version 
of this setup uh, with uh, two sets of rotors, so definitely very cool. So let's look at one more version of this figure before we leave you. Alright, so here is the third mode uh, with the extra set of rotors to give her the spider mode. And this kind of gives a more sleek robot look. Uh, we basically take the stingers off of the arms and uh, insert the rotors directly into it. And then if you look on the back, the stingers kind of become a buttress back here. Uh, just kind of put one in and then slide it and uh, slide the other one around to the side to kind of cock it around the figure itself. Uh, which is kind of cool. Um, definitely gives her a different look, for sure. Um, and again, it just depends on how you want to do. So there's there's a few different modes that you can go through with the extra set of rotors, which is really, really nice. Um, and it just really improves this character. I know a lot of people didn't like this figure, but I'm really enjoying her, especially getting a second set of rotors and really giving her a great uh, arachnid mode. Just looks really cool. So, once again, thanks guys for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hated it, thumbs it down. Please share my videos, and of course, subscribe. And always, look for more videos in the future.